questions for Eric Hamilton? I'm live. Uh, I'm very excited to be home, uh, just to go home and play in front of family and friends and to actually play a team that I've grown up watching and grown up loving. Uh, it, it's going to be fun for me. Are you nervous at all? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nervous. I mean, uh, just to be in front of people that have been watching me uh, play at a uh, uh, play all different types of roles, especially, you know, in high school. I was more of the main focus and stuff like that, but it's, it's going to be fun to, you know, just uh, play a different role in front of the, the people that know me the best. Is there added pressure in going home and having performance and all this stuff? Uh, no, I mean, uh, it's, just, it's pretty much the same. I probably have more pressure at Gill than I probably do at home, but, uh, but, but I mean, I guess it's just a little bit of pressure, but not, but, but not really. Do you have any friends or teammates that are on Cal or Oh, yeah, uh, I'm very close with the whole program. Uh, but uh, I definitely uh, know Justin Cobbs and Alan Crabb. We definitely uh, we definitely have a pass with each other, and we play all the time, especially on off season. And I definitely, uh, I definitely think it's going to be fun to play against them. Can you kind of talk about your decision to come here versus maybe trying to stay in the Bay Area or what went into that? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, just my decision. Uh, my decision just to play out here instead of Cal or California schools is is mostly because uh, I kind of want to get away from all that. There's a lot of uh, distractions that I have back home, but also uh, Coach Rob and and his uh, and his coaching staff has, has done a great job of making me feel like a priority. And I feel like a lot of the California schools didn't really because they thought I was set to go to a California school. But I definitely didn't I didn't feel that way, and I uh, ended up coming here, obviously. But the coach was talking about some guys struggling when they go home. But he mentioned Devon playing well when he went home. Do you, do you talk to some of the older guys to pick their brains a little bit about what they back? No, actually, I haven't. But uh, that's actually a pretty good idea to do. But uh, um, yeah, I, I guess I'll talk to talk to Devon because I never really thought about it like that. But I guess I didn't know there was a pass of people playing uh, playing bad at home. So I guess I hopefully I don't go on that trend. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot of my team, they don't really have a lot of uh, Bay Area connections, so they sent me a lot of tickets. So uh, I'm expecting at least like 50 to 100 people to come out uh, on my side, all, all dressed in orange. Like, the past few weeks, really all season, but specifically after the Washington win, uh, guys pointed you out as someone who was really uh, taking things up a notch in practice and getting guys ready. You know, starters at least. Can you maybe describe on your development over the course of the year and what you're bringing to the table? Yeah, definitely. I try to go hard and practice every day and uh, go hard on especially some of the older guys. And uh, I mean, as a freshman, I can only do so much and I, and I want to do as much as I can to win. So if that's, you know, hyping them up, going extra hard in practice, trying to give them the best scouting report, that's what I try to do. I know, you didn't, sorry. I know you didn't expect to be one six at this point in the conference. Do you, do you look at the record and try to Maybe look more in the big picture and see how good you guys can be the rest of the life. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely didn't didn't uh, picture us being one and six at this point. But uh, you know, we're just we're just uh, coach likes to say we're just just little things away from being a very good team. And I feel like once we get those all get get those little things together, that we could be a very good team and a very dangerous team. And I know that teams in the Pac-12 definitely they don't look past us. They see our record, but they know that we have a lot of potential, and they know we're more of like. Of a erratic team, so we could lose to 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 a bad to a bad uh, mid major, but then we could definitely beat a beat a top twenty five team. Uh, Coach kind of mentioned that for freshmen in particular, the defensive side of the ball kind of comes naturally, maybe to you guys, but the offense and knowing your role is a little bit more difficult to pick up. How did it feel Saturday? You know, maybe, you know, draining a couple of those threes and kind of getting more looks for you. Uh, I mean, uh, it felt pretty good just to just to finally get used to you know scoring again. I haven't I haven't scored at that rate in a long time, and uh, just getting in, uh, just getting the ball through, just me seeing the ball go through the basket it, uh, feels good, and I, I feel like I could do it more. And uh, just playing defense that that actually comes more naturally to me than playing uh, than playing offense. I feel like I can control that more. Is it tough going from a high school situation where you're the main guy, you're the big scorer? Transitioning into the college game. Yeah, it is, but uh, but my teammates have made it uh, very easy for me, and uh, because we all have gone through the same things, we were all, you know, Mr. Passballs in our own town, and uh, 
and they know how it feels, and we all kind of went through the same same process that I'm going through, so they make it very easy for me. Eric, the Beavers have struggled rebounding in Pac-12 play. What do you guys need to do to work on that and start grabbing more boards? Um, collectively, we all have to come in, even even the guards, and uh, you know we just gotta get a uh, box out. You know, some teams they see um, the scouting report, and then they say, you know, they can we can get some offensive boards against them. So we just have to lock in, focus a little bit more on rebounding, and uh, get the ball and go. Have you guys made that a priority in practice this week? Uh, yeah, we work on it uh, a lot in practice, but uh, it's really just more of wanting the ball. So uh, you know, we just gotta, you know. Go get the board and you know try to go, but um, yeah, that's 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 gonna be our Achilles heel if we don't start getting rebounds. So um, I have to lock in a little bit more on that. Coach said it might have been one of those cases of guys saying, "Oh, Eric's gonna get this, Eric's gonna get that board." Did you sense that at all? Um, no, I just usually I just go see the board and go get it. Uh, I don't really know what they think, but uh, um, I just I just try to go get everyone I can, but. Uh, you know, we all got it. We all got to rebound if we're gonna be a good team. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure you know a lot of people, a lot more people gonna get involved rebounding. May I add to that? Uh, also, like uh, just with uh, with Eric's departure that he had, uh, kind of made us made us feel as a team that uh, we had to rebound better. And I think that showed uh, a lot during the Washington game. Just uh, not relying and depending on Eric as much, and I, I think that kind of helped us. I'm sorry, what? You like having the extra day off between games? Um, it's, I don't know. With me, it's really no days days off. I, I, I think everybody probably came in the gym on their off day and probably got some shots up. I mean, we're really in no position to have an off day right now. We didn't expect to be one and six. So I'm sure people people got in the gym, um, probably get off their legs a little bit maybe. But I'm sure it's peop, uh, a lot of players are still in the gym on Sunday. Were you talking about in between games? Yeah, between games. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I mean, he's talking, you know what I'm saying. But uh, he was talking. Well, yeah, uh, I don't really like it because especially as you see that we're one and six, uh, you know, we'll take a hard loss, you know, to a team like uh, UCLA. <clears throat> and we want to redeem ourselves as quick as possible. And we don't want to have that one day to to dwell on ourselves. So, you know, it, I always get very anxious and I want to play that next game right after, especially as a freshman playing uh, in an AAU circuit. You know, if you lose a game, it's not a big deal. You play the next one. But in this, uh, you really have to you really have to win games. It, it's a uh, I had to say that it's like a, um, this is like a legal weekend. So I mean, if you if you if you do a bad if you do a bad weekend, then then you can go up or you can go down. The nice thing for you is that that can you get more family time in with the extra day. Uh, I, I I try to, but uh, but that also that's also distracting. So uh, but but uh, yeah, I try to get some family time in. Um, we haven't gotten to Stanford yet, but Cal, they have those uh, two big time scorers, uh, Cobbs and, and Crab. So we really have to try to lock in on them and try to limit their touches. But, um, uh, you know, they're a good team. So we, we're just going to have to try to get a little bit more stops and get the hustle plays so it can give us a little bit more cushion when it gets later in the game. But, uh, you know, those, those two players really want to do the most of their scoring. So we have to try to limit their touches. What are some of the, different, the biggest differences you see in them from last year to this year? Um, they, 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 uh, Richard Solomon is coming along too. He's coming along really good. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Alan Crabb, he's added a lot of pieces to his game. So, um, Justin Cobb's taking on a bigger role. They're all doing a little bit, doing a little bit more. And that coach is doing a good job over there. So, you know, we just have to, um, try to go over there and get a, a good, 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 uh, away game win. Eric, do you like guarding the other teams, you know, that score, it seemed like you were on Wilcox a little bit, using your length to kind of maybe disturb him a little bit against Washington. Do you like playing maybe a smaller guy, but you can kind of keep up with him? Uh, yeah, I feel like I can keep up with him at the same time. Sometimes when I guard a shooter, I can't really come over and, and get a block or, or something. I, I have to stay with my shooter. I can't get in a position to rebound him. But, you know, it's just, it's just whatever is best at the team, uh, best for the team at the time. Like sometime against Washington State, I was on uh, – uh, lad, and then sometimes I was on modem, but it just depends. So uh, it really doesn't it doesn't matter to me. Home guarding, just um, coming off screens, it's okay, and just more about being in position. With me. Eric, you 
is it tough going from a big guy who maybe you kind of lose a little bit of size to then switch to a guy who maybe a little quicker but you have more size? Well, yeah, if they do get past me, luckily um, I, I can make it up with, with some length or whatever. But uh, um, going, going to a big guy, you know, I can move my feet pretty good. But, uh, you, know, it's, you know, these are good players in these leagues, so you just got to, you know, work hard every day in practice to get ready for the defensive jobs that you get assigned to. Craig said that you guys maybe are a little, a few plays away from winning some of these games. Do you kind of sense that too? I do. I mean, it's like four or five plays, and that's just been since last year. I mean, we're, we're right there. I mean, um, you know, if we just get a couple more stops and a couple more loose balls, it's, I mean, we're right there from having a completely different record. So, um, you know, we just got to keep working hard in practice and, and just, you know, got to get them to, tr got to get that to translate into the game. Eric, how tired or frustrated are you becoming with the fact that that's something that you guys are, you know, continuing to say, you know, more and more, just a couple more stops away and we're right there. Uh, are you growing frustrated with saying that over and over? Um, no, we see, we still, uh, as long as you see some progress, I mean, like um, we're we're right we're right there. I mean, um, you, you, can, you can only get so much of saying that, but you know, we see it and we, and we believe. So you know, we believe in the coaching staff and we believe in each other. So you know, um, we just got to keep on grinding it out and for the rest of these games. You talk about being you know right there, but you guys just want to be the toughest part of your schedule. Now that the road eases a little bit, talk about the confidence level of this team. And um, the confidence level is still there. I mean, I don't, I don't think we've lost any confidence. Like you said, we played the best, the best team so far. So um, you know, we just got to try to get these uh, maybe winnable games um, so we can uh, better our record. But um, um, those games just help the team um, and get ready for the Pac-12 conference and I mean Pac-12 tournament and all that. So um, you know, we just got to got to got to turn this thing around. We got to do it fast. So. Um, it's, it's getting tired of saying we're right there. We just got to go and do it. Me? <laughs> well, we play this. We play uh, <laughs> uh, like we got in the gym yesterday. We play five spot. It's some game he brought from California. He always loses. So I'm just, yeah. just saying. Nah, I mean, yeah, he beat me one time, but uh, I told him my confidence is still there from last game. So can't take away that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happens in five spot? Oh uh, yeah, uh, it was a game that I uh, that was that I was taught that was handed down to me. It's just you just go to uh, through five spots: the baseline, uh, the wing, and, and the top. And you go through each spot, and you have five shots. And just whoever has the better percentage wins the game. Me. <laughs> Good. Go. Thank you.